Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back another day with another unboxing. And today I have what I truly believe is the perfect gift for any man. So I have a lot to unbox today. Uh, so I'm probably going to unbox it first and then explain it all to you. Um, Father's Day is coming up. I believe it's the 14th here in Sweden. And uh, no matter if you want to buy something for your dad, your stepdad, father-in-law, yourself, use a friend. Uh, anyone that has at least one pair of dress shoes have some kind of dried out sponge or something to refresh in the shoes. And I have done a lot of posts about cleaning sneakers uh, and like only one post about cleaning dress shoes. And dress shoes for me, it's both easier and also harder to take care of. It's a lot easier because there are a bunch of different products. This is almost hard to, to do it wrong. Uh, but you will need a bunch of products. It's like taking care of taking care of your car. So let me show you what I have here. And oh yeah, first of all, shout out to Spring Yard that are kind enough to give you all a discount code. So if you use type in uh, PR15 when you shop from Spring Yard, that would give you 15% off. And Spring, Spring Yard has everything that you need and some more to take care of your products. So the main thing here is what we call a shoe valet. Uh, some just call it a shoe box, but there is a big difference from a shoe valet, valet and a shoe box. A shoe box is mostly just a box where you keep all your products. A shoe valet is a very beautiful piece, classic piece, uh, that you have your shoes resting while polishing it. And these boxes you can buy from, from Spring Yard, both uh, already filled with products uh, or empty. And I decided to uh, choose an empty one because the products that was included was good, but it wasn't enough. I wanted some more things and yeah, so I just decided to get an empty one and fill it up myself. How you use the valet itself is very simple. Uh, usually when you clean your shoes, sneakers, whatever, you have it in your hand or maybe a towel on the lap and, and you do your thing there. With these this kind of thing is much easier. Uh, usually when I polish my shoes is like the step before getting out of, out of the door. So when sitting down, uh, you just rest your foot here and do your thing. Uh, I usually use my, my stool in the hallway, put my foot up, do my thing and then walk out. But I've totally damaged my uh, my stool because of that. So let me get a shoe to show you. Um, so if you do this um, sitting, this works just fine. Uh, very, very easy it is when you are sitting down on a stool and you have this standing on the floor. Then it's great. This is not going to be a shoe care guide instruction video. That will take a lot longer. Uh, but I find, as I said in the beginning, I find it quite easy to take care of dress shoes. Uh, usually if, if they are dirty, a soft um, brush, uh, that will just do the trick. And for the finishing touches, you have your polishing cloth. You, you have all seen somebody do that, I guess. And then what I wanted more is some care products. So here we have 
Shoe therapy uh, cream formula. This is what you usually use when the shoes are damaged, maybe a bit worn, uh, starting to look gray. So this is for black shoes. Uh, that is what, what you usually have. You have some kind of, as I said, dry sponge and something like this. Uh, on these kind of shoes, maybe I shouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have used that, but when it's leather like that, uh, then this is what you use. So black and brown, I guess and this is, and neutral. So you usually have black and brown or black and neutral. Um, so that's that, and then we have wax. Uh, this is for protecting when you are using your shoes, your dress shoes, and in the autumn or winter, where we have rain, snow, salt, and uh, you need to protect your shoes with the wax. When it comes to suede shoes, that is a whole different subject. Uh, we have this stone that is great to remove stains, the, the, the small stains. And even if you get scratches on your suede, this is good. And we also have the brush, same thing there, brush, brush the same way, usually the way that you are walking, the aerodynamic way. And what I also want here that I don't have is a rubber uh, brush. A rubber brush is the best for suede shoes. I'm going to get that also. Then we have... Uh, cleaning for uh, suede shoes, neutral, renovating formula, Spring Yard's own products, and we have the same thing here but for black suede shoes. This is uh, water-based protection, uh, once again for, for protecting your shoes, the impregnation um, to keep the water off. Uh, I haven't tried this product before, so I'm really curious to this. But once again, this is not for me, this is for my dad. And here we have uh, Shoe Therapy Cleaning Formula Universal. So here we have to keep your shoes clean, get them clean, and get that new look again. Then something that all you American viewers ask me about, which I think is a must, is a shoehorn. Why don't all people have a shoehorn? I can't, I can't understand that at all. Uh, no matter what kind of shoes you have, if it's dress shoes, sneakers, whatever, you should always use a shoehorn to get your shoes on. Otherwise, you will just damage the heel. Uh, so, a good looking shoehorn, I'm pretty sure that my daddy is going to appreciate that. Maybe I will keep one of them for myself. And one, when buying shoehorns, uh, never, never buy the plastic ones. They are just going to break on you. So metallic or wood, and my taste is the longer, the better. And then we have this. <clears throat> this is something really old school that I don't understand why people are not using this anymore. Usually in a pair of sneakers, when you buy Jordans, you get something like this. And it's more or less the same, but this is just a very, very simple and basic. This is to uh, fill out the shoes, so it will heal the creases. But it's also for uh, sucking up moist. And this is what we call a shoe tree. And I think more companies should sell shoe trees. There are a bunch of different shoe trees. Uh, the best is C tree. Uh, that's a darker tree. And the C tree, it removes some bad odor from your shoes. And uh, the moist, as I said. Uh, so we will keep the shoes dry, good smelling, and it will... Um, Heal the creases, it will fill out the shoes. So, this is something that you always should use. And when buying dress shoes, uh, you can buy things like these from like IKEA that only pushes forward, and that's it. 
and they are like a small ball in the end and that will sooner or later give you a spot in the heel so this is what you need down in the shoe and do I have anything here to adjust the size I'm pretty sure that we do have and then this is what uh, separates the cheap one from the more expensive one this thing so this stretching out the shoes on the sides as well and not only in the very front of the toe box so uh, if you are unsure about what what to buy or you don't want to spend so much money this is the first thing i would buy uh, as a gift uh, actually so this is it everything is from spring yard most of them are spring yards own products i think all of them is actually and uh, discount code is pr15 i'm gonna type that in the in the description and that gives you 15 percent off this is truly what i feel is a best gift for any man that has at least one pair of of dress shoes uh, the valet as i said you can buy it empty you can buy it filled i bought it empty because i wanted to choose the products myself i don't actually remember what kind of products was in the filled one but i just wanted to um, have the option to choose myself if you have any questions about any of the products check their website or use to ask me uh, thanks for watching and let me know what you are going to get yourself or your dad or whoever whoever on uh, father's day thanks for watching